So, I guess you want to hear the proposal story. Well, it was at the end of March this past year, and I was still in school in Florida. Jason was working at Colgate, but we were both traveling to Rochester, New York for the weekend for our friends Jeff and Allison's wedding. I flew into Rochester on that Thursday night, and the wedding was on Saturday. When Jason picked me up at the airport, he told me he'd forgotten their wedding gift, which we'd bought weeks earlier in Hamilton, so he asked if we could go back to Colgate on Friday. He told me he had figured out a way to make up for it, because we had been planning to do something to celebrate our four-year anniversary on Friday anyway, and this way we could go back to the restaurant where we had had dinner on our first date at Colgate. He asked if recreating that first date was okay, and that sounded like fun to me. Friday afternoon, on our drive to Colgate, Jason handed me his phone and told me to make a reservation at the restaurant Nichols and Beale, where we would be having dinner. I thought that was a little bit strange, because there are very few places in Hamilton that actually require a reservation, but I called the number he had saved in his phone anyway. As we pulled into town, we were about 15 minutes early for our reservation, so he said he'd drive me up through campus to show me what had changed since I'd been there. We went up the hill to the main academic portion of campus, and he parked outside Lathrop Hall, which used to be the geology building, but has been closed for remodeling since the semester we took the volcanology class together. That was the class in which we met. That was the first point that I actually started to get suspicious that something was going on because he was so casual about wandering campus when our reservation was in about six minutes. Jason hates to be late. Anyway, as we walked into the building, we happened to bump into Jana, the student photographer who worked with the university photographer. Jason had worked with her in the past for Colgate website material, so he introduced us. Jana happened to have her camera over her shoulder. She was coming from shooting a biology lecture. Didn't occur to me that it was 6 o'clock on Friday night, but Jason asked her if she had seen how different the fourth floor looked after its remodeling. She said no, and he invited her to follow us upstairs. I still really had no idea exactly what was going on. It seems crazy now how I bought it all. When we got up to the fourth floor, it didn't look like anything had changed at all. We went to the end of the hall to the old geology student lounge. That was the room where Jason and I had spent countless hours working on all of our volcanology lab projects, and where he had originally asked me out in 2008. Back then, he pretended to propose with a paper ring to ask me to be his girlfriend. It was really cute and really creative. Anyway, when we walked into that room, there were two champagne glasses and a bottle of sparkling grape juice on a table, and he got down on one knee. He pulled out a white box like he did four years before, and it had another handmade paper ring in it. He said, will you still go out with me? And when I said yes, he pulled out the real ring and said, how about forever? It was really sweet. Oh, and of course, Jana was taking pictures the whole time. It turned out that she was actually who I had called on our way into town, thinking I was talking to the hostess at the restaurant. But really, I was just warning her we were on our way. The whole thing was so creative and such a perfect fit. Oh, and of course, we did have dinner at Nichols and Beale afterwards, without a reservation, 